Welcome to ABC Solar Incorporated as we present our solar electric installation videos. This video will cover solar electric installations on roofs from Spanish tile down to flat, steel I-beam, stamp metal, and composition shingle. And of course the famous solar chicken song. Today we will begin with the Melberg Solar Estate. This is a 3.6 kilowatt solar electric installation done by ABC Solar and you can find more information at abcsolar.com. As you can see, this roof is Spanish tile. It's traditional in Palos Verdes and other Mediterranean tile uh, type areas in Southern California. What we do in this roof, as you'll see through the sequences, is we will remove the tile, lay down composition shingle roof, put the roofing mounts, the rails, and then the rails will uh, hold the solar electric panels. From here we will run conduit, in this case across the roof and down the face of the building, hidden very nicely um, so that we can uh, connect to the inverter which is three floors down. Now as you look at this video, what you're going to see is a complete removal of the area of tile where the solar panels are going to be. And so you know, we're, uh, you know, the homeowner in this case opted to keep all of the tile, which is nice because it gives them a backup tile. And as you'll see is, you know, we have a very clean crew making sure everything is set and they start to measure out where they're going to put the solar mounts. The solar mounts are attached to the rafters with three inch 5 16 inch uh, lag bolts and uh, you'll see more as we continue on. Now what you're seeing um, here is putting down the composition shingle around the flashing and the mount. What we have to make sure is that every hole we put in somebody's roof is thoroughly waterproofed and by removing the tile and placing down the composition shingle roof we're ensuring that we know exactly where the holes are going into the rafters and that we can control uh, very easily the uh, placement uh, of the waterproofing materials and then the composition roof materials. Sorry there, I forgot a second that I was talking about flashing. And what you'll see is, you know, with the uh, flashing is we try with all the components to paint it the basic same color as the roof so that as you get a visual after the installation is done, we have a terrific uh, roof and, and leave a very beautiful installation. Great, now we get into non-alcoholic screwdrivers and putting together the rail after they've been successfully mounted by the roofing team. Now the rails are, are measured out um, so that on either end, right or left side of the panel array, there's no more than 24 inches before a mount and the edge of a solar panel. And then we uh, run the rails as you'll see across uh, as we go. Um, but before we get into rails, we need to switch back to inverters. Wow, did you see all that uh, stuff going on before you? This is uh, Nathan going ahead to put on a 150 pound inverter up on the wall. I had to let the camera down to help him because it's pretty heavy. As you can see, this is a very well engineered German made SMA Sunny Boy 3000 US inverter. Um, Sunny Boy is one of our favorite choices for inverter, uh, mainly because they're very well engineered and their support is terrific. The inverter is tied to a DC disconnect and an AC disconnect and uh, the different wiring through the conduit to make sure everything is safe and uh, run properly. In this case we uh, drilled through the wall and uh, connected our electricity to the main panel via the back of the main panel. And what you're seeing there is that nice little extra round meter that's a, a, an additional performance meter that allows the client and SCE and other people to manage uh, the production of the system. I just love the wire runs on the system. So if you look over here, we're, we're back to the rails. Uh, I, I know this uh, video skips around, but there's a lot of guys doing a lot of work at the same time, and they do make it look uh, easy, don't they? Um, in looking at the rails, you can see that we have a set of four rails, and that's two rails per row of solar panels. And what you'll see is the rails going off the edge of the roof. I, I certainly hope the solar panels aren't going that far. Remember our 24-inch rule? So what they'll do is after the panels are placed down, they'll uh, cut off the edges of those uh, rails and finish off the installation. One of the last things that we do. 
So one of the, the great things about this solar installation is, is just the location and, and uh, the view of the home. I guess probably most of you in the audience don't know that this system will perform generally better than it would in a hotter area because in Palos Verdes Estates it's nice and cool. Now what you just saw or what you're looking at now is the grounding uh, and putting of the grounding lugs, the grounding wire. Each solar panel is, is uh, attached to a ground wire. It's very important for safety but more important for your inspector. Great. Now, now we get to the best part of the installation because we've done all the groundwork, we have the wires up here, we have the mounts on, the rails on, and the solar panels are coming on. Each of the solar panels are connected to the other in a series of 10 panels. There's two rows of 10 panels for a total of 20 panels at 180 watts each for 3.6 kilowatts DC. And so you'll see in the solar array that we have very clean lines, very straight lines, and very important. You'll also see that there's a nice airspace between the bottom of the solar panels and the top of the roof. And in, in hot areas, this is extremely important because it cools down the solar panels and it also is the hidden benefit of putting solar panels on your roof this way. It will make your roof cooler. Let me say that again. This array will make the roof cooler and make energy. Besides making energy, it's also going to add value to the home because uh, for every dollar that it's offsetting, the market is going to add $20 to the value of the home. And this is a gorgeous home. So the, uh, the guys are almost done here with the uh, rails and, and putting those up, making the last connections. You can see that. Here comes the last panel. The guys are on the edge. And now uh, they're running the, the wire and the conduit down to the uh, already set and working crew with the inverters. So the fun part uh, in this solar installation is looking at it like this, all the tile being replaced uh, and looking just gorgeous. So let's take a, a moment and watch how they're laying down the tiles and uh, bringing in the aesthetic portion of this solar electric installation. One of the key things at ABC Solar is making sure we do a beautiful job on your installation. If you have questions about this installation or are interested in uh, just chatting about solar electric uh, systems, please give us a call. Our phone number in Los Angeles is 310-373-3169. You can also find us at abcsolar.com. This video and many more of our works and our ideas and dreams for solar energy are available. And uh, what you'll see with our crew and our work and, and working with our clients is that you know we really do have a passion for what we are doing. We are making energy. This home will be literally off the grid if they are careful with their usage. And they have the capability of expanding. So if they decide to you know, either have more kids or just want to use more energy, they have that capability. This is Brad Bartz at abcsolar.com. Thank you, Pat and Tom Melberg. Thank you very much, and enjoy your day. Go solar. Go solar today.